You are viewing Senior Day Highlights for the playoff-bound Hopkinton Hillers girls lacrosse team. The Hillers congratulated three seniors on this year's roster, and all of them played a key role on this year's team. The seniors consisted of Sydney McDonald. She was escorted by her sister, Acadia McDonald. She has been just tremendous in the midfield. Lydia Rudden, who has over 100 career goals and has played a pivotal role for this year's team and the last few years teams. And last but certainly not least, Natalie Calkins, who joined the 100 goal club this past week in a 17-11 win over Dover Sherborne. The Hillers took on Norwood in their last home game of the regular season, and they took the game with ease by a final score of 18-1. The Hillers went on to take down a tough Dover Sherborne team on the road by a final score of 17 to 11. The Hiller girls lacrosse team finished the regular season with 12 wins and six losses. Up next, it's playoff time for the Hillers. Hopkinton Hillers baseball also recently celebrated senior night, but first they took on Norwood Bottom of the first, the Hillers got the hitting started. There's a ground ball in the right field. That's going to score two runs. Here come Ambersoni to the plate. No play. Two base RBI for Connor Kelly. Hillers score two in the inning and lead it two to nothing heading to the top of the second. Moving along to the bottom of the fourth, the Hillers with a two to one lead, one on, two outs in the inning. There's a line drive in the right field. That's gonna score Drew Rankatori. It's bobbled by the right fielder, but no advance by Brendan Kelly. So the Kelly boys have got all the RBIs today. Bottom of the fifth, the Hillers added another one. There's a ground ball. It's gonna two, no. Run scores. Shortstop tried to take it himself. Threw the ball up the first base, home plate side. Didn't get the speedy Ambersoni. The run would make it a 4-1 to one game at the time, but Norwood had a response in the top of the sixth. That ball's hit out to center field. Tommy Ambersoni out, and that ball's gone. Three run homer. Four to four entering the bottom of the sixth, but it wouldn't stay that way for long. Big long delivery. There's a ground ball base hit in the left field for Pagliuca, and that scores a run to break the tie. Robbie Pagliuca, my favorite player, comes through with a base hit. It's 5 4 Hopkins. And there it is. And there's a suicide squeeze, and he throws to first base. He doesn't, he gets him, but the run scores. That Coach Simos is a crafty guy, throws the suicide squeeze on. The Hillers hang on for the 6-4 victory, and they clinch the TVL large title. Hopkinton is now 14-5 and on the season, entering their last couple of games. The Hillers celebrated several seniors on their roster. Here's a look at the festivities. What I'm happy for the seniors is those seniors will always have their year up in the, in the um, athletic center as the TVL champs by themselves. Obviously, no, and, and in addition, uh, Luke DeLoyo is not here, but um, <laughs> um, but that's really a special accomplishment, especially this year. I've been coaching, um, this is my 14th year here, and um, I've been here a very, very long time. This is as good as the league has been. So to win this league, 
um, and keep on battling the way they did and come back today where we didn't really play our best. Really, um, really special thing and, and the seniors had a, such a huge role in it. So what we would like to do is just thank um, uh, their parents for your support of us. Again, I'll, we'll talk a lot about it at the banquet, but my whole thing is, um, as we say when we met in my classroom, um, thank you for faking it. Um, whenever you're not happy, you fake it in the best interest of other people. That's what life is all about. Um, you fake it till you make it. And I understand um, the, the, the give and take of keeping, look, this is, a, this is like a football roster. Um, it's very difficult. This is a very unique group of kids that can, that can hold together. The love they show for each other is amazing. With, with 21, 22 kids, and guys coming up, taking spots, and then just doing all the little things that you, I hope you notice, um, that will be will be special and honored. And it's the important stuff moving down the road. Tremendous young men you've raised. So, um, John Zach feels as though he has no consequential role, uh, so we're gonna let him read. <laughs> That mound is all me today. Yeah. That mound is all me today. And, uh, all about so, me. But he, and he knows how to, he went to the University of Notre Dame, so he's good at reading. <laughs> uh, uh, he's going to call up the parents and we'll take a nice picture of the seniors and their significant parents. I don't know who's here, um, but... We're going to go in uh, Jersey order, so Ty, Ty Doherty and his parents, uh, Kendra and Ken. Face here. Let's get all the. We'll get the photographs over here. Go right behind the scenes. Just stand right there. And you're can right I, in front of the chat oh. camera. So just either go left or right. That's easy. <laughs> I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Cole Glassburn and his parents, Michelle and John. Cole had a double and a squeeze. All right. Easy this way. Perfect. <laughs> Ryan Kester and his parents, Sheila and Mike. Robbie was born in 1937. <laughs> <laughs> John Yusuf and his mom, Nadia. Captain Steven Simos 
and his mom, Cheryl. <laughs> So can we get all the seniors? today's festivities? No, can we have all parents and and seniors? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, got, we, got, we got a nice big shot. That's what editing is for. Right? <laughs> 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 <laughs>